is what we call spoon. We call it spoon. It's an SP word. It's got an O in it because our number one receiver is no longer running the spacing hitch. So the Z in this look is going to run a diagonal stem Omaha. It's locked. There's no conversion. Okay? Diagonal stem. The F, the on the ball is still going over the ball at six. And now the inside receiver, instead of being responsible for the flat, he is now responsible for the spacing hitch. The only difference on that is we do shorten his route just because of the spacing. He's coming from the backfield most often, so he's not going to get to that eight-yard mark when he needs to, so we'll get him to six. Again, you can call a bunch of different stuff on the backside just like we did with our, our spacing before. Okay, here it is. We're just sliding the tight end in the box, getting a man zone look pre-snap. Boundary safety's on the hash. I know right now. I mean, the only thing that's going to get me off this is if they just go really wide right now and play cover two. Even if they click a D end out, I mean, an Omaha, an outcutting or outbreaking route is good to throw, right? If you do get stuck on the Omaha on your box alert, reset your feet inside out. Now, this is a little funky. I think they're playing a little quarter, quarter, half or trying to. He doesn't really get off the hash as much. They almost jump it. If they would have picked sick this, I wouldn't have put it on the film, I promise you that. But <laughs> nonetheless, we fit it in here. Again, box alert. Just a reminder, full field reads. It is a one-on-one -on -one in the boundary. If I have it, I'm going to take it all day, every day. If I don't, I'm not sure, I'm playing the foundation. How do I read spoon and spacing? Outside in. If I get stuck on the one-on-one, -on -one, progress across the field, inside out. Okay, here it is, just a look into the boundary. Okay, again, we felt like we got one-on-one -on -one rotation of the boundary, play the field. On these out cuts, these routes, slants, outs versus off coverage, man, just remind your kids to stride out. That's one thing that we, we've coached to death, stride, right? The short, choppy steps give away the route. We really want them to turn it over, and this is a four-step route. You can see we're not running out of bounds, not even in practice. Chin in the ball, attack one, split two, and we have a rule. It's 